I'd be tempted to say I start about 60% of my videos from this exact area, but the Grand Exchange is my home. Hello everyone, and welcome to episode number 42 of Free to Play Domain. The clan chat name is a lie. This is 42, that was 41. In 41, I did get 99 range and uh, absolutely been destroying it in regard to the bank. My bank currently is about 154 mil. Last episode on a demonic gorilla task I had, I killed uh, about 130, 140 of them and I got two Z so I was pretty lucky with that. Now, I never did end up finishing off that task. So I think that is where we are going to start. I'm at 1784 total level. And I'll probably be working on Slayer a little bit. More so the bossing that comes along with it. Just making some money and also progressing the stats and the side stuff. Feeling pretty good. I'll throw everything on in here. 152 mil bank, actually. Uh, a little bit in the blowpipe. But we'll see how this demonic gorilla task goes. I got 100 left. And I will update you if I have anything of note. Nice little heavy frame coming in. This is a uh, 1 in 1.5k drop from Demonics worth 35.8k, which is just awful, man. If anyone remembers the days of like early Demonic Gorillas, the heavy frames were worth a ton. Like it used to be like 50 plus mil for a little while, I think, and then it eventually came down, but guess I'll never get to experience those days. First time back here in a while. That was a long Black Demon's test that lasted two episodes. Um, did get another heavy ballista, but talking to Steve with 124 cave horrors. That's my first cave horrors task. I feel like I'm kind of late in the game to explain what these are, because if you don't know by now, then I, I don't know. I just, I unlocked these really late because of the way I quested. So most people probably know what this is by this point in their account. But basically it's in this dungeon. I'm mostly harmless. There's a bunch of cave horrors you can kill. You need a witchwood icon, which I'm going to grab here in a second that you have to wear. And it's pretty simple. They can drop you black masks, which are... Pretty good money right now, so I'm going to go cannon that task and see what we can do. Also, a lot of hard clues, but I'm not really a hard clue guy anymore. Please no comments on the gear setup, that'd be great. Never a fan of Drake's personally, so uh, yeah, we'll do 206 gargoyles instead. Finally manned up and brought some high alks on a gargoyles task, so 750k made in total on that one. And uh, obviously some good strength XP, 280k from 96 and also 119k from 91 Slayer, but 216 Black Demons right, <laughs> right back. Alright, sounds like a plan. I'll, I'll, I'll go back, we'll kill some more Demonics. Why not? Zenite number six coming in, just uh, 150 kills left in the task, and uh, cop our first one. So, yet to go a Black Dragon's task without getting a Zenite. Pretty happy about that, and that is my sixth one. We'll check the KC here in a here in a hot sec, but uh, that was that was about I guess 180, 190 since my last one. So it's probably my most deserved so far. If there's anything good to come out of this i guess i don't know i'm just gonna get roasted because my zen eye luck is uh too op but that's okay that's okay i'm fine with it all right looking at the gravestone we'll see how many i've actually killed 811 i've gotten now six zenites which should take me about 1800 kc so you know just uh just a thousand kills less that's that's all no biggie god dude I, I press record. I think sometimes I just double click and it just ends it. All right, so as we can see in my chat here, I've gone from having one crafting level to having another, and I'm up to 79. Missed it because, you know, I'll blame the recording software. It's easier that way. Uh, just been doing a little bit of crafting because I need something to dump my uh, money into for a buyable. Crafting's pretty decent. I don't mind doing it because it's kind of AFK and bank standy. So, uh, you know, having a good old time. Going to go ahead and get back to my demonic gorillas task here in a second, but... Just trying to get total level up in general and also kind of prepare for Master Clues, Elite Clues, Diary, stuff like that where I pretty much need all of these stats in the game. So, uh, dump some money into there, but I think I am done for now. Here we are hanging at the bank. I'm going to throw all my gear on in just because I want to know how much my bank is after that trip. 167 mil, maybe a little more if I emptied out everything, but uh, by that I mean like blowpipe, trident, stuff like that, you know, just uh, things that can hold extra uh, wealth, but we're going to keep on moving. I am done with that Black Demon's task. That took a while. I'd be happy with the Vorkath task, that's what I'm looking for, but uh, 123 Aver Inspectors will do just well. 32k until 91 Slayer, and also have 170k until 96 Strength, so we are just killing it. Don't ask about the D-SIM. I, I just knew the task would be quick. Wanted to get it over with, see what else I'd get next before I went ahead and uh, spent a lot of money on a bludgeon, you know. I just, every time I buy the bludgeon, I feel like I got to sell it off the next task. So, okay, well, I guess I'll invest in it now. Then. Fine. 
And there we go, coming in is 91 Slayer on this Abyssal Demon's task, 614k to go till 92. Uh, 91 unlocks me Cerberus, kind of. I, I used to be able to boost up to it, now I won't have to. The next Slayer boss is 93, where I get the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, but he doesn't really drop anything all too crazy, except for kind of the pet chance is nice, but I mean, other than that, I mean... There's not a whole lot of reason to kill him, so I don't think I'll be pushing Slayer too much. I may be doing a little bit more uh, PBM outside of Slayer in the future, as I'd like to do a little bit of that. But going forward, Cerberus is now a, uh, a simpler task. Tease the Slayer level last task. Now I get to tease the strength on a... Well, never mind. Probably going to kill these with... Uh, yeah, I'll go melee. Why not? Why not? Don't know if it'll get me there, though. If you were... Uh, if you were to judge it by my inventory, it wouldn't have looked like that was much of an eventful task, but the loot tracker on Runelite showing about 700k in loot once I don't count the, the bones that I definitely didn't pick up. Um, 150 sukwas as well. Didn't get any strength XP on that task because I had to go with the whip and the DFS combo, but now should be able to get it. Okay, uh, I, just, I just missed it. I was sitting here watching the XP go down, but... Uh, yeah, just, you know, a couple big hits, and there it goes. So, just got myself 96 strength, the second and third highest stat on the account, actually, and going to probably be my second 99, keep pushing it forward. I'll start training attack once I get 99 strength, but until then, I think it's just going to be nothing but the bludgeon. Back at Steve. No, thank you. Cancel another task from Steve. He tried to give me some of those nice little mushrooms and Xanarus. I said, no thanks. I'll take uh, 111 Kraken instead. Third Kraken task on the account. Feeling pretty good. Happy to go back and get that free mage XP. 260k off a level. Cave Kraken task wasn't all too bad. Got uh, about 2.3 mil in loot in total and uh, in addition to that it's like 60k magic XP so not as much as I thought but not awful. 133k horrors. We will see if we can get the first black mask on this account but time will tell. Get to see that coveted black mask but a couple notable seeds I guess on the task enough to pay back for the cannonballs I use so always nice and oh my gosh there we go so 133 blue dragons mean that means I now have the first Vorkath task that I can do with Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Best in slot bow for Vorkath. So I'm going to go ahead, gear up, and go show you guys a kill with it. Just show you kind of what it hits, how good it is. First time back at Vorkath in a while. Basically, the changes when going from a Toxic Blowpipe to a Dragon Hunter Crossbow when killing Vorkath are you don't bring a spec web because it's just, I, I guess, inefficient to use a spec web since the Dragon Hunter Crossbow theoretically can hit enough to where the time spent using melee and then switching back apparently isn't that big of a deal. At least that's how I understand the situation. Um, in regards to like Wooks walking, if you guys know what that is, it's like one tick running back and forth while you attack. It's pretty high level stuff, but uh, the Dragon Hunter crossbow form of that's a little bit more chill. Not exactly the same, but I'm not good at either of them, so I just don't do them. and I just walk back and forth like that. I'm using Ruby Dragon Bolts E for the first half of the kill and then Diamond Dragon Bolts E for the second. And... Uh, yeah, also instead of praying mage, you pray range. So those are about all the things I'm going to change. Uh, in regards to how I hit, you guys can get a decent idea from what you've seen so far. The Ruby E's max out at 100, so every now and then you can get a really quick kill if you uh, end up busting out a couple of those. But going to go ahead and just start my grind for a little bit. See how it goes. First time here since the 99 range too, so just... Uh a lot coming together right now. So this is why I think the Dragon Hunter crossbow is so good. I just got my first ever four kill Warcath trip. I think before this I would have more than likely get ones to twos and I think three was my best ever but this is just kind of the norm. I mean I didn't even really struggle for this one too much and a 450k trip is just honestly below average so if that's as bad as it's gonna get i'm pretty happy with that in addition to that got my personal best before that it was 147 um but for this kill half of it i was unpotted the kill before that 218 the kill before that two minutes and the kill before that 225 my personal best was 147 so i mean i was i was keeping a pretty good pace i mean with blowpipe you'll get a lot of kills that if you just don't spec well or you're just getting unlucky with hits they can go three four minutes long and with the dragon hunter crossbow you never really run into that so it's nice it, it really is an upgrade that kill just absolutely smashed my uh, personal best i actually did get it down from 146 to 142 but i knew i'd, I'd keep getting it lower and 127 is very good i think that's only three or four seconds uh slower than my main account so don't know how often 
talk and I'll be able to get back to that, but good to see. And this is a three kill trip about to be a four as well. So Dragon Hunter Crossbow just doing wonders. All right, so I know this is going to be a strange way for me to leave you, but basically I have 87 uh, blue dragons left on this Warcath task. I have that gear right here. I'm recording for another video, so don't mind me. Um, but basically tomorrow I have to leave for Virginia. Obviously not going to be able to play as much on this account. And when I do, it's going to have to be on mobile because at my grandparents' place, we don't have internet. As much as I do like the uh, escape from the internet, you know, after about three to four hours, I I'm, I'm probably about good. You know, I could, I could go for some mobile. So I'm sure I'll indulge myself. I think I might end up canceling this Vorkath task though, because there's just no way I'm going to kill 90 Vorkath on mobile, like in any world. So I'm not going to let my Slayer stall. If I want to do some, I'll do it. But I also will do some skilling that uh, I don't mind doing all too much on mobile. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back with my mobile gains. Yes. Oh boy. Going through the few pictures that I have for my trip, basically, I just did a lot of mobile Slayer. I really didn't want to focus too much on what I was doing, so I did kind of more AFKable tasks. We start off with a Fossil Island Wyvern task. They got me up to 240 total tasks. From there, uh, moving forward, I got myself my second whip on the account, which is pretty nice. I think in total, it's kind of like a deserved whip. I've done a lot of Abyssal Demons tasks, so kind of felt that one coming for a while. I then went on to a Kraken task where I got my second Kraken Tentacle at 340 KC, which was a nice little boost to the task. You know, Kraken's always a, a decent money maker, but when you can get a rare, it definitely helps. And then I hit 250 task at an Anku task that I got from Steve. I, I forgot all about the uh, Konar boost. I really wasn't thinking about it going into it, but a 420 point boost is nothing to scoff at. And I already have, you know, 2.1K points. Like I got a lot. Got up to 97 strength on a Gargoyles task, which kind of shows how much XP I'd gotten uh, on this trip. I think I got like three, 400k Slayer XP probably. And then to finish it off, on my way back, I was a couple hours from home and I got a Hellhounds task, which meant I could do some Cerberus. I was pumped. And that's where we got back from the trip. First clip back since going to Virginia. Glad to be back. Uh, got nothing but time and excited to get back to the account. Got from 67 to 70 woodcutting today. On my day back, just relaxing, figured I'd get some easy levels, work on up towards 1800. I have a, I also have a Cerberus task I wanna do, so I'm just gonna get a couple levels while I also finish off that task. And there we go, another deed done. Just went ahead and got myself 14 days of membership uh, for a good 4.2 mil, so. Bonds went up a little bit, paid a little bit higher of a price. It's no biggie to me. And now I have a couple more weeks to kind of run free was close to 73 fishing, so that's what I'll get next. But uh, yeah, still paying for membership out here. Just got 73 fishing. I like keeping my skills at 73, kind of for the meme. If you guys don't know what that is, you can look it up. You'll, you know, you'll figure it out. It's some RuneScape memery. But in addition to that, just kind of getting a lot of these skills to like a good 75 or so, just so I can uh, be able to get as close as possible for like achievement diary levels when needed. So... Just preparing myself for that, but definitely have Cerberus in the back of my mind. Just got myself 91 attack on the Cerberus task. I am uh, currently at 259kc, decent ways into it, but still 90 kills left, so still holding on to some hope here. But uh, yeah, I just got 91 attack, which kind of sucks because I think I'm still going for 99 strength. And even though I get more DPS, it's unrounded, which I don't like. But in addition to that, I did get a defense level. I didn't record it because I don't like talking about it. It saddens me that I have to gain my defense, but I don't feel like selling off everything for a bludgeon switch and stuff like that. And I'll just, I'll just deal with it. It's no biggie. 114 combat level as well, but we're just going to keep on keeping on here at Cerberus and see what we can do. Here we are checking in for a kill at Cerberus. Just wanted to go ahead and talk real quick before I get 92 Slayer after this kill and kind of round off this trip in this episode. Cerberus is one of my favorite bosses. I don't know if I've really stated this enough, but you just absolutely tear him. Like as you can see right now, I'm using a Zami Hosta and I'm hitting pretty well. You hit most of the time and at the end of the day, it's good XP, both in melees and in Slayer. I was able to get like a little over 100k on this task, and you can kill about 40 an hour, so it ends up being like a four-hour task or something like that. Now, um, 
Obviously, I haven't gotten any rare drops yet. Still some kills left to go, but uh, it's a 1 in 128 drop for a rare, so, you know, going 160 or 170 with that one isn't anything crazy. And I do like that this drop table, as you can see by my inventory in this death pile over here, there's nothing worth too much, like some blood runes, a rune chain body, some battle staffs, you know, just your average kind of high-level PVM drops. But that primordial that it can drop is worth 30 mil, and there's a 1 in 512 chance of that, so... Per kill, on average, that comes out to like 60k a kill. So, you know, if you're not getting prim crystals, you're not making much money. But if you're getting that prim crystal, you're making a ton. GP per hour alone on the prim crystal is over 2 mil. Uh, when you consider you're getting about 40, 40 kills per hour. And that's just insane. Now, granted, you don't always get that. Got 92 Slayer right there and have four kills left on the task, but it's a nice little risky money maker that kind of keeps you engaged. Now, I don't get anything with 92 Slayer, but I'm one level off Smoke Devils, but three more levels after that, I get Hydra, so kind of working passively towards those, but definitely going to take a while. 700k almost Slayer XP until the next level, so that'll be a while. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is 260 tasks completed, and I am going to go ahead and get to the bank and end off this video. I was hoping we could end it with a prim crystal but yeah i mean it's it's cool it's cool i have a, a lot of zenite luck and if there's a boss i have to repay that luck at i wouldn't be all too saddened if it was cerberus as he's a good dog i like him you know he's he's a he's a cool guy to hang out with and slaughter all day so throwing everything on into the bank here i have 1798 total level oh my almost 75 mil xp very close to two milestones there and uh yeah throwing everything on in here i don't think i have anything in the grand exchange no a 169 mil bank very nice closing in on 200 and i mean honestly this bank is just going to keep booming so that'll be it for this episode if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like anything you want to tell me let me know in a comment down below and if you want to see more as soon as it goes live make sure to subscribe and for even more i'll be streaming right after this episode uh comes out in the description below over on twitch but with that said that's gonna be it for me hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh bye